Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's reviews, but just to round things off, I thought I'd leave you with a brief preview of Steven Spielberg's Back to the Future. Actually, that's not quite right. Spielberg was only one of three executive producers. The director of the film, who should take the credit, was Robert Zemeckis, who also co-wrote the script. And yet, the power of Spielberg's name is such that these days, any film with which he's associated seems to become automatically a colossal box office hit. Such indeed has been the case in America with Back to the Future, which took even more money than the popular but deplorable Rambo. Spielberg is a modern Hollywood phenomenon, the only completely bankable name in the film industry. I reckon that if you were making a film and you let it be known that Spielberg had merely visited the set, you could look forward to box office records. I don't know what it is that he's got, but if you could only patent it, he'd make a fortune. What am I talking about? Every film he touches makes a fortune. And Back to the Future, which deals with a young boy who travels back in time to his own parents' high school days, has just made him his fortune for 1985. Until the same time next week, I'll leave you to chew enviously on that thought. Goodbye.